If you were looking for a quick YouTube video without all the math behind linear regression and just wanted to know what the heck it is, here we go. Use generative AI for everything. Throw gen AI at every problem, right? No. Hold on, and I'll show you a simpler way. Let's dive into why linear regression is all you need for many business predictions. Before you deploy massive language models, think about your problem. Are you trying to predict a number from another number or numbers like housing prices from square footage and year built? If so, forget Gen AI. This is where linear regression shines. Other examples are predicting customer churn based on factors such as customer spending history, customer support interactions, and social media activity. Linear regression should be your go-to in this situation. No neural networks, no complexity. It's what folks mean when they say you don't need a Gen AI for everything. This is quote unquote regular machine learning in action. To learn if linear regression fits your use case, ask yourself, are you trying to generate a poem or predict a number? If it's the latter, you might be in the right place. Let's say you decided on using linear regression. It's still machine learning, but it's not generative AI. So all you need is Python code, and to install a Python module for linear regression. And that's all the tools you need. That's a whole lot less computing power. You avoid hallucinations and reduce your carbon footprint. Okay, so you use Python code, and you install a Python module, and then what? You toss your historic data into a CSV file and tell Python, hey, linear regression, train a model on this CSV file, and that's it. You have a trained model ready for predictions. Uh, wait, um... What is linear regression, really? And how does linear regression work under the hood? Okay, let me draw a bunch of equations and graphs. Just kidding, it doesn't freaking matter. In real life, you're trying to solve business problems. So you identify what's your business problem, choose what approach works best for it, and then run your code. People are already wrote that code. They wrote the Python module. You just need to run it. Again, forget complex graphs. You need to predict a number from another number or numbers. That means linear regression is probably good for your use case. Linear regression takes your data set and finds a straight line that fits it as closely as possible not bad, right? And how do you make this production ready? Please don't go DIY here. This is such a common model that services like Amazon SageMaker on AWS offer cloud-based optimized versions of linear regression. Simplify your workflow. Can I give you another business use case that would fit linear regression? Sure. Predicting sales based on factors like marketing spend, economic conditions, and competitor activity. Predicting website traffic based on factors such as SEO, social media marketing, and paid advertising. This is a number that you're getting from other numbers. Again, forget complex graphs. Linear regression takes your data and finds a straight line that fits it as closely as possible. So next time you want to make predictions for your business, no need to overcomplicate things. Check out Linear Learner. I'm Jan Stelman, a solutions architect at AWS. Although this channel is my own and represents my own opinions, please like and subscribe if it helps. Amazon SageMaker. Studio Notebooks for fully managed cloud-based Jupyter Notebooks. Write a comment like example of regression, then Amazon Code Whisper does the rest. Download a dataset. Upload it to SageMaker Studio. Load the dataset. Create linear regression object. Train model to predict price from area. Correct the file name. Let's predict the sale price if the house has 3,000 square feet. One hundred sixty-five thousand one hundred thirty-six dollars.